Now, the first step is to restart a computer. Simply restart a computer and after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to disable or remove the mods. Before you launch the game, uh, you can, if you're using the mods, you can just remove it or disable, disable it and then relaunch the game. Next step is to turn off weapon debris in launcher. So launch the game. Once you launch the game, you can go to uh, options over here and then go to advanced option over here. And then over here you can see weapon debris. You can, if this is set to ultra or high or medium, you can set it to off best performance. And then once you turn it off, now you can relaunch the game and then you can check. Uh, still not working. The next step is to limit monitor refresh rate to 60 hertz. So if your computer has a, uh, sorry, if your monitor has a refresh rate of like maybe 240 hertz or maybe 144, uh, you can lower it down to 60 hertz, set it to 60 hertz and then, then check. And you can even open Windows settings, go to system and then go to display and then go to advanced display over here. And over here you can select your monitor and you can set it to 60 hertz and then you can check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So, NVIDIA users can open NVIDIA app. Now, if you see the game over here, you can click on the game. Uh, or you can go to graphics over here, and you will see Fallout 4 game over here. In my case, I don't know why it's not showing. So, if you see Fallout 4, I'm showing you with different games. So, select Fallout 4, and you can launch the game from here. If that does not work, uh, you can optimize the game. So if it is not optimized, you will see optimize option like this. You can click on optimize and then you can launch the game and then check. If it is already optimized, still you're facing the problem. You can revert the optimization and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, go to settings over here. You can turn off this NVIDIA overlay. Turn it off and then close NVIDIA app and then check. Try debug mode. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a racket on desktop, show more option, and then click on NVIDIA control panel. And over here, go to help and then select debug mode over here. Put a check on debug mode and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, you can go to manage 3D settings, global settings, restore. Yes. At the bottom right, you will see apply option, hit apply. And once this is done, now, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to close OneDrive. So if you if you're using OneDrive, uh, some it's hidden. Sometimes it's hidden over here. You can make a right click and then you can exit OneDrive. Uh, quit OneDrive. I don't have OneDrive open. Now the next step is to rename the save game files. When you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You will you have to start everything from scratch. You will lose all the save game progress. Now for this, you can go to documents, go to my games, find my games folder over here. Where is my games? Yeah, here it is. Now over here, you will see Fallout 4. You can create a backup first. So copy this folder. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder. Now you can launch the game. The game will start from scratch. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, you can go to the make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now I don't have the game on Steam. Uh, I have the game on Xbox app. I have added the game uh, from Xbox app to Steam. So go to the game installation folder and then you can open the game folder Um, in my case, I have it in. So go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, and then you have to select the game exe file. Find the game exe file, make a right click, and then you can make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, go to properties this time. You can put a check over, check over here, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, you can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck this box, 
hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, so if the game is installed in Steam location, you can go to the Steam location, open Fallout 4, and then you, you select the game exe file and add it over here. I don't have the game on Steam, I have the game on Xbox app. So this is just an example. Uh, you can select the game exe file over here and then click on open. In my case, it, because it is a Xbox Game Pass game, so I will not be added to it. Steam users can add the exe file, all the, all the game exe file. Add it and then type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder again and add the Fallout 4 exe file over here. Once added, you can launch the game. If you're using any third party antivirus, like if you're using Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for Steam users, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. After the verification, you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and in the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now you can close this, launch the game, and then check still not working. You can properties, type in dash DX12 over here. You can try this and then launch the game still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c file now for this you can open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 version download this x86 and x64 run this exe file click on repair if you see the repair option if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and run this exe file Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have an NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here, your operating system and then click on fine. On this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver, click on View. And then you have to click on Download. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. So run this exe file. So when you run this exe file, uh, click on Yes to allow, click on OK, and then Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next once done restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here i don't have amd graphic card this is just an example select your graphic card select your operating system and then you can download the latest graphic card driver download it install it then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings then click on add desktop app and then uh, you can go to the game installation folder and select the game exe file as go to steam for open fallout 4 Select the game exe file. This is just an example. I don't have the uh, Fallout on Steam. Once the game is added, whichever, uh, once the Fallout uh, 4 is added, you can click on Fallout 4 exe file and then select high performance. You will see your graphic card and then you can launch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your SDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Next step is to set uh, try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here you will see bal uh, power saver in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver option like this you can you can select power saver and then 
relaunch the game and then check you can even try balance or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check also enable or disable the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings go to advanced graphic settings and if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then you can relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable integrated graphic card now for this make a right click the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here now if your computer has a dual graphic card uh, uh, then you can disable this integrated intel um, in my case it's intel whichever is the integrated graphic cards make a right click and disable device and then you can relaunch the game now once you are done playing the game or if you face any problem you can make a right click and enable the device and then check next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page uh, you can scroll down and then over here you can see few more version so maybe you get you can try the older graphic card driver view it download it and then when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and then restart your computer amd graphic card users scroll down after you select your graphic card your operating system click on previous versions select your operating system and then maybe you can try this one or this one and download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to unplug external devices like if you're uh, if uh, if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you are not using like if you have key chrome keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard you can disconnect it razor tartarus disconnect any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect extra controller sometimes we have we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then over here in under general tab i'll show you with different game uh, under general tab here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game you can turn this off relaunch the game if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay nvidia app go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay and close all the overlay application close it do not overclock uh, you can close uh, 
set the overclocking to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert you know running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to if you are able to launch the game you can try window mode and lower down video settings and then check next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo hp whichever brand you have go to their website select your model number make sure that you select your computer go to drivers page download the bios and install the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game you will see uninstall option uninstall the game and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel